we exposed breeding pairs of clownfish to low levels of artificial light at night. Um, and we looked at how often they were laying eggs, um, how those eggs developed, and whether or not those eggs hatched. So what we found is when the clownfish eggs were exposed to light at night, they actually didn't hatch at all. So we had 10 pairs of breeding clownfish, and so we exposed five of the pairs to the artificial light at night, and five of them were in control treatment, so they had complete darkness at night. We monitored how frequently the clownfish were spawning and how successful they were at fertilizing those eggs, um, and then we monitored uh, whether or not those eggs hatched. So we removed the light at the end of the experiment and we monitored the, the fish and the eggs for another two months after that to see if they recovered. And pretty much instantly, as soon as we removed the lights, the eggs hatched again. So there's a lot of light, uh, artificial light at night that you're probably not even aware of because it's so common. Um, lights on buildings all along the coast, lights on piers, lights on boats in the harbors. Um, there's offshore lights offshore oil rigs, um, there's bungalows in high-end resorts in tropical islands where they're built over the coral reefs and there's actually lights shining directly on the reef so that we can see them at night. This study is really important because there's been more and more research looking at artificial light at night and impacts, um, particularly in the terrestrial environment, but we haven't really looked at how light is impacting organisms you know, under, the, under the water, in the ocean, and in, even in freshwater environments as well. And clearly it's having an impact, and there's a lot, um, a lot more questions that we, we need to look at because we don't know exactly what's, what's happening.